Okay, welcome back to my little kitchen. That's what we're calling this. My, you know, My Little Pony? This is called My Little Kitchen. And we're going to be making uh, stuffed burgers. But right now, I just first want to bring you up to date on a few things. Number one, I got all your requests for aprons and shirts and stuff. We're going to be doing that uh, soon. When I get into my house, I'll mail out all the prizes and I'll announce all the winners. Number two, Jack on the Go is a little bit behind um, this show. Uh, we have all the goodbye videos coming. By the end of May, we'll be all caught up. So you'll see all my Food War goodbye videos. Those are coming too. But right now, let's get into our next product review. It's gonna be awesome. You guys have requested it, so I went out and bought it. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is called Stuffs. That's right, it's how you stuff your burger, like Juicy Lucy's. So we got a little bit of, little bit of jalapenos, some blue cheese crumbles, and a lot of meat. And we're gonna make some stuffed burgers. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, and Jack, Jack's gonna try stuffing his burger with, uh, with, uh, yep, I don't know why. I don't, dude, why do you, you seriously want Cheez-Its in your burger? Hey, it's extreme, it's awesome. To be 14 again. Now I'd love to say I know how this works, but I'm just looking at it. Look at it, it looks like a puzzle. Okay, first thing it says step one is to pull this up and just turn it slightly, whoops. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. Should lock in a place like that. Then you're supposed to open it. There you go, step number two. Doesn't say how to do it, but I'm gonna get it pressed in there. That's number three. Close it up. Oops. Press down. Give it a good squish. Oh, yeah. Got a pocket. All right. That's a good enough pocket, right? All right. So I'm going to put pieces of Swiss cheese in mine. I'm going to break it up. Get some jalapenos in there. Nice. Grab another thing of ground beef. There we go. You're supposed to press it up on here. I don't know why they want you to do that. But it says to just kind of form it on here. I may put too much. <laughs> Typical Jack. Too much meat. All right. Well, yep. Bulging out. Look at that. Ew. It's like <laughs> it's like Play Doh. All right. So I'm gonna lock it closed. All right, so here's the tricky part. Remember before I had it like this? Okay, now you gotta lock it in and push down. Okay? You're gonna push the whole thing down together. You're gonna press it closed. You're gonna rock it back and forth. There you go, get it all sealed. All right, so I did, I did a little bit too much. You should do less meat than me, but you can see that the patty is sealed. There it is. Sealed, oh, it's not sealed all the way. Just take your fingers and Help it along. Okay, so I'm gonna take that patty. That's like the world's biggest patty. That is crazy. Okay, so I got my patty right there. Got my pan right there. A little bit of the uh, bacon grease. I know a lot of you freak out over this, but you definitely can cook in bacon grease, it's okay. Whether you use butter, oil, bacon grease, it doesn't really matter. There we go, look at it melt. Yeah! Okay, here we go. Slide it in there. That's like bigger than ever make. The next one's gonna be smaller, I promise. Okay, as you can see, as the patty cooks on one side, it pulls away and it separates itself. Not good. See how you can see the inside right there? Uh, we're gonna make a smaller patty and try and pinch the sides when we do Jack's Burger. Coming up next. Okay, I'm gonna use a little less meat now than I did on the last one. Because the last one seemed a little bit on the thick side and I don't wanna I don't want to fail this if it's my fault. Come on, lock up there. It's real flimsy. Okay, we're gonna press this. There we go. Press this center section down. Come on, give me my pocket. Give me my pocket. Give me my pocket, baby. And that's a horrible pocket. This thing does not do well, but I'm gonna keep keep working on it. Come on. Keep these up. What a flimsy piece of equipment. Come on, I'm trying to help you here. All right, so let's open it up. All right, 
Got a little bit of a pocket. That's the best I'm getting out of that. How many you want in there? Like eight. Hey. I don't know. Push it down into the meat if you have to. Yeah. I am going to push it down into the meat. We'll let it crack, too. There we go. Putting that much in. Okay. I'm going to try and form it a little bit to get it started. I know I shouldn't. I'm helping it along. But I'm in a good mood today, so I don't want to... I don't want to call it a fail unless it's a true fail. Just press it. All right. Here we go now. Got to latch it first. Like this. Now you press with this outside rim. Alright. Kind of push it around. It says to kind of move it around a little bit in a circular motion to so you seal the outsides. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This one looks better. A little bit. It's still not sealing very well around the edges, but let's take a look. Oh, that looks much better, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's cook this one up now. Okay, so let me tell you what happens. When you cook one side, the burger shrinks making the other side open up because it's not done cooking yet you notice that see that right there yeah this isn't good all right so let's give this a review here mine kind of busted open i made a really big patty and i thought maybe it was because of me then i made a smaller patty over here and you can see during the cooking process it wants to break open no matter what you put inside they're just two patties pressed together it's not very well done the machine doesn't pinch off the sides very well we're going to make this a little better. We're going to take the best hot barbecue sauce you'll ever taste. I'm going to put a little bit on each. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look better now? Yeah, it looks way better, huh? A little bit on this one. There we go. And Jack and I are going to have our burgers. Okay, you ready? Let's see a bite. Lean over. I put some sauce on it, too. Uh, which one? Look at uh, his mouth. Look at your mouth. pot. Look at your mouth watering. Ew, you just gushed a bunch of juice, dude. So, now, before you take your next bite, because you're famous for not talking to me, but, oh, it's all cooked, isn't it? You see the Cheez-Its. Let me see. You see that little orange thing right there? Oh, yeah. Are you tasting the Cheez-Its in there? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay, before I eat this, I just want to let you know. I'm not going to call it a fail. I can't. It did what it was supposed to, but it didn't do a good job of it. It's clumsy. I don't recommend buying it, but if you still want to buy it, there's a link down below if you want to pick that up on Amazon. Right now, though, I'm kind of hungry, and I'm going to try this myself. Here we go. Mmm. You know, that's episode.